Well, welcome back to the Mod Showcase, everyone. Hope you guys are all having one of the most wonderful of wonderful days so far. I'm your host for this evening, Leaf. It is so nice to have you guys all here. Now, before we do get started, I do want to say right off the bat is that modding is not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. But everything can be reversed it'll be totally fine just make sure that you follow the handy dandy tutorials laid out by me and my fellow modders and you guys will be totally fine now without further ado we actually have quite a little bit of a busy week this week compared to you know weeks past <laughs> but yeah we have seen some wonderful modders come back we've seen some wonderful additions by some wonderful modders as well all very amazing things and we're gonna get started with the remaster of an older mod this is the asiatic lion look at this dude it essentially looks like if you took an african lion and kind of just use a spray bottle on him a little bit look at that tiny mane now asiatic lions many people may not know this live in asia i know very crazy these breeds of lion well the species of lion really are more commonly found in europe that's usually the kind of species that they have over there and they're just really incredible creatures this mod is made by havoc gaboy giorno and i believe that's it but if i mess that up gaboy's always quick to let me know if i did but this is an incredibly beautiful mod and it's super awesome just to see all these species representations in the game it's always super awesome just to have these guys and they look incredibly beautiful as well look Look at that. One of the things I always say about Gaboy's work is that their fur quality is some of the best of the best, and you can really see that with this mod. Every single hair is painstakingly combed to give you such a beautiful result of a creature in the end. And I'm just like fawning over the male over here. Meanwhile, the female over here deserves a lot of love too. She'll shake all that fur off in just a few seconds. But these guys are so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I really do love the kind of sandy texture on them. It is super awesome just to see how beautiful these guys are. And look at that. Oh my god. I can't get over it. These guys are just super awesome. Um, and yeah, I don't really know too much to say other than that. I know that their typical picture guy, I think, Buff Zoo, is uh, currently taking its tiny little bit of leave again. But check out these photos. They are incredibly beautiful. And yeah, they're only isolated to a small part of India. I believe they were found a lot more widespread before that happened, though. But, uh, you know, ever since then, they've been really working on trying to fix the populations over there. But incredible job to both of you guys right over there. Now, moving on over here, Giorno Pizza is not done with us just yet. Teaming up with Ginger Toast, this is the South Island Takahe. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now, this is a beautiful, vibrant bird found from New Zealand. Always really awesome just to get more New Zealand animals modded in the game. And this one is one of my favorites. You guys may be some old Zoo Tycoon veterans over here. Uh, maybe you guys may remember like that Aves pack that Hendrix used to put out. Uh, these guys were featured prominently in there, and these guys are so incredibly beautiful. They have a lot of color variation, which I really like to see. So you have this nice bright beak over there, and you have a little bit of a desaturated one over here. They look kind of goofy when they <laughs> kind of sleep like that. But they are incredibly beautiful creatures, and it makes me super happy that the Bird King himself was able to team up with Jorno to bring this mod to life just a really really solid mod over here it makes me super happy just to see this uh and yeah that's about it i really do love their beaks look at them i'm always super impressed by anyone who's able to use the p-fowl rig to its advantage just because i mean look at that stuff that is some incredible work right over there so amazing job to those two right over there the baby is also cute as well uh, moving on over here, we actually have our first mod in the showcase by a new creator. His name is Mega Kebab. He's made mods before, but this is the first one I wanted to show off. So this is, of course, the stump-tailed macaque, named aptly so because of, well, the tiny stump on its butt. So these guys are, well, I don't really know too much about them. Let's actually read up on them. So yeah, they are native to Southeast Asia, a little bit of Asia. It seems like you didn't change out the Zupedia picture, but I'm not going to hold you to that. Um, really, really awesome animal though. I'm super happy that um, 
forgive me, Mega Kebab, is learning photogrammetry. And it's super awesome just to see how far he's going with the tools. I just always love to kind of show off, you know, just the real dedication people have to improving their craft. You're still a ways away, but listen, Mega Kebab, I'm super happy that you're starting to learn all these new techniques. That's always the best way to improve. But so far, so good. Amazing job at bringing a new animal into the game. Now, moving on over here, Jorno. Oh my gosh, get out of my showcase. This one is, of course, the Thomas Stoma. This one is coded by Giorno Pizza, but made by Brett. Brett, of course, is a wonderful modder in the community. He, has, he hasn't made anything in quite some time, but he came by to remaster his old Thomas Stoma, and it looks pretty damn good. He did a pretty all right job with the model. Super happy to see that. My only complaint, and this is just a personal thing, I would love for it to be more orange. Um, I know that a lot of people love like the orange Thomas Stomas compared to like you know the kind of muted colors of Garials which reminds me we gotta check out the Garial remaster update uh but we can check that on just a little bit uh maybe next week we'll have something for them but yeah this is just a really awesome mod I'm just super happy that we're getting all these really awesome species in the game I'm super happy that people are working on improving their craft always amazing to see that and it's just super awesome uh Brett I know you listen you're my buddy now, so I get to point this stuff out. A uh, real super simple thing to fix for the eyes. You just take it in the model mode and then shift it back a little bit. And that should be able to fix them. You don't even need to re-rig it or anything. But incredible work over there. Moving on over here, we have a lovely little mod by Vince. We have a lot of crocodilians today. This one is, of course, a smooth-fronted caiman. These guys are so awesome. So these guys are related to the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman, but they have a small... Well, they have a bunch of little different different uh, <laughs> traits. Uh, I believe their scoots are a little different, so I think they are a little bit pointy on the back. But their faces are a little bit more smooth. But yes, Vince did an incredible job with this mod. Even though I can't tell apart Crocodilians for the most part, I can always tell the passion that someone has for these mods, and he does have it. So I really suggest you guys check this one out in case if you do love having a nice diverse Crocodilian selection in your zoos. And speaking of that, Jorno, oh my god, I can't get rid of you. I really can't get rid of you. So this one is, of course, the Nile Crocodile. This one is, of course, made both by Mega Game and Rex, as well as Jorno Pizza. We already had this mod in some way or another before, but again, it's been rehashed, it's been remastered, and I'm super happy to see that. Just because, again, I always do love to see people coming back to improve their craft. Now it's on the alligator rig, and it looks absolutely fabulous right now. I really do like their jaw. I really wish it were just a smidge longer, though. I feel like you always can tell Nile crocodiles apart by, like, their big jaws. Because, of course, they do have, like, one of the most powerful bite forces of any animal. But this really is such an incredible animal. Super happy to see that people are always happy to remaster their mods. And I'll tell you what, my friends, that is about it for this week. Relatively quick showcase, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of awesome mods to check out this week. I realize I forgot my lemur, but I'll, I'll actually include that in the next week's showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your favorites in the comments down below. Mine, of course, is the South Island Takahe. These guys are so adorable. So we'll end it with these bright little fellas. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.